Uh, so right now I'm in Pune. Can you briefly introduce yourself? Uh, yes, uh, myself Disha Zundre. I have completed my MSc in Obstetrics and Gynecological Nursing from Pune. Total, I'm having five years of experience, of which two years I have been working in hospital, including Hinduja Hospital, Mumbai. After that, I'm having three years of experience in a institute, College of Nursing, as a senior lecturer. Can you come back again with your education in year? Uh, yes, uh, sir. So I have completed my BSc in 2016, after which I'm having two years of experience in hospital. And then fr from 2019 to 21, I have completed my MSc, after which I'm having three years of experience in teaching as a lecturer. Which subjects you have done your MSc? Uh, obstetrics and gynecology. MSc in obstetric and gynecology. Uh, yes, uh, actually, sir, I'm from nursing field. So we are having specializations in which cardiovascular is there uh, like this. I'm done it. I did it in obstetrics and gynecology. So you, are, you, you have done a very good professional course. Why you are not continuing in nursing only? Why you want to come Another back thing? in clinical research and pharmacovigilance? Yeah, uh, so if I compare at the end of the day, how much salary I'm getting is one of the important factor which I have. So after five years, I'm still stuck with 25,000 salary, which is, I think, in future also, it's not very uh, giving me any promises. So I think if I'm switching to IT career, I may get some nice scope in future. But who told you clinical research and pharmacovigilance is IT career? Uh, so somewhere I wanted to shift uh, from my nursing field. Uh, I have worked as an uh, UG research guides also for my students of BSc nursing. So I'm already having my personal interest in research. And then I came across with this course. So I felt like coming. Disha, whenever we speak, we have to speak sense now. This is nothing to do with IT. You could have said, mm -hmm. I want to enter clinical research and pharmacovigilance. Okay, okay, sir. So. Use of correct words is very important in interview, na? Hmm. Okay, sir. So. so if you want to enter clinical research and pharmacovigilance, say clinical research pharmacovigilance, why IT? You oh, cannot okay, sir. Okay. anything in interview. You have to plan your words because your words are important. Sometimes students are coming back and saying we have done a very great, good interview. Still not selected. This is the reason. Okay, sir. Bol, bolne bolna hai. Because every word is having meaning in interview. They will weigh each and every word. Yes, so that is the reason we are organizing mock interviews and telling you people to prepare your answers. Can you give us five reasons why we should hire you? Yes. Uh, so I have completed, I am having knowledge of IC, GCP. I have well understanding about CTRI designs, uh, clinical trial designs, CTRI portals, and I, um, CDM. Say, uh, I have completed course of CDM, so I am having knowledge about data management as well. What is your salary expectation currently? Uh, as per con company norms. And how mobile you are? Uh, so right now I'm mobile in Maharashtra. I can relocate anywhere. Yeah, come Thank you, sir. OK, Disha, what do you understand by clinical trial design? Uh, so clinical trial designs are the designs which gives us idea about how the research is going to conduct. So what is exactly there in these designs? Can you name a few of the designs? Yeah. So uh, one design is a double dummy de research design in which uh, two investigations products are present. No, so it's not looks... a design. Uh, so parallel double research design. design. Parallel research design, then crossover research design, uh, then uh, mat mark matched pair design. These are the some types of designs. What is parallel design? 
so uh, in parallel design uh, we are having one uh, experimental group and one control group and we are going to distribute uh, randomly distribute the subjects in experimental and control group and we are going to assess both groups simultaneously so in what then what is the difference between this design and other design uh, In other design, this, uh, assigning the group and giving the treatment. So how it is different from other design? Uh, Ma'am, in crossover, uh, we are going to uh, give a little uh, one washout period, and both um, uh, whatever placebo work, whatever placebo was there, uh, whatever control was there, active control or placebo, both will be received. Whereas uh, parallel design is very simple. Simply, we are going to distribute the groups in two parts. One will receive experimental throughout the clinical research, and one will receive uh, placebo throughout the clinical research. What is the difference between active control and placebo control? Yeah. Uh, so control uh, groups are the groups who are not going to, uh, who are participating in the clinical trial, but they will not be receiving any uh, experimental drug. So there are two types of control group. One is active control, one is placebo control. In placebo, we are not going to give any active treatment. We are just going to give some uh, medications which don't have the uh, content of that uh, particular uh, treatment, whereas in active group, we are going to give the treatments, the standard treatment which is available. Then what is the difference between placebo and the uh, concomitant medications? So concomitant medications are the medications which are prescribed to the patient. Already that patient is taking that medication. And placebo is something we are just mimicking the drug, but we are not providing any drug. In which phases of the trial we use placebo? Phases. Uh, in three, phase three A, we compare the product with the gold standards, which is already available. I'm not asking gold standard. I'm asking placebo. In which phase you're going to use placebo in clinical trial? Phase three. Just now you said in phase three we are comparing with the gold standard. Is gold standard and placebo same? Mm -hmm. This means phase what two. is protocol? Phase two. Um, uh, so protocol is a document which is going to give us uh, information about the objectives, the design, research design, the hypothesis of the clinical trial which is going to get conducted. It gives us background and rationale about the clinical trial plan. What is hypothesis? So hypothesis are the statements of assumptions which are made and which are going to get uh, checked uh, throughout the clinical trial for its uh, validity. And what do you understand by screening? What is screening in clinical trial? Yeah. Uh, so if we go as per protocol, we are having uh, a number of uh, subjects who are eligible for being a part of clinical trial. But uh, from those also, if, for example, if we want to take 50 participants in our clinical trial and we have uh, took 100 participants, which are similar to the inclusion exclusion criteria, which we have, from that also, we are going to take 50 specifically. The method of the duration, the method by which we are going to uh, select these 50 candidates for the study will be screening method. Can you define CRF? Uh, so CRF is an electronic, um, electronic. Uh, it is an electronic or uh, optical document which is going to provide uh, uh, take information, uh, protocol related information of the subjects which are enrolled in the clinical trial. Can you tell me about CRF completion guideline? Uh, so every CRF has its own uh, CRF completion guidelines, which are product produced uh, in set of phase of uh, clinical data management, which provides us information about how the exact data of that uh, question is supposed to be completed. Okay, Disha, 
on the definition part you need to work okay not very confident on the definition part apart from that you know most of the things but the way how it needs to be delivered not very satisfied with that so you just require a much a bit more practicing and try to frame the answers and then practice on those answers and try not to uh, mention anything that you are not very confident at like when you are talking about why you should be hired you said you know about this clinical trial design so you give me the point to ask questions from there at which you were not very confident okay try to add the things that you feel you are very good at and you will be able to answer with okay yes okay so that's all i think overall it is okay but you need to polish yourself more and structure the answer properly so you deliver the important key terms that is required in the answers okay yes. and clinical trial design it's itself is very complex so if you are not very sure try not to add those things because there are n number of questions that can be raised from there thank you sir. okay thank you over to you sir so Disha, till this time, preparation is, uh, I will say, good. Keep it up. Whatever suggestions Shweta ma'am she is telling, please adhere to that. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank what you, sir.